Hello. Hello, Whiskey Corner fans. Hasn't it been a while? Yeah. I've not got cancer. I'd had an haircut. <laughs> now then, I've been on the drink tonight, as you know. Anyway, um, I've had a few drinks here and there, different things. I've had some real ales, I've had some stouts, I've had some ciders. He's had a whiskey drink, he's had a lager drink, uh, he's had a stout drink, he's had a copper beer drink. Is that Chum Warm? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes, I know. Well, you're not Danny Boy. I know. I told you Danny Boy's had. It's been on the gold label. Where's it? There. It's now 7.5%. It used to be 9% that was. Just like um, a special brew. About f three years ago, special brew was 9%. I was in Morrison's today and I saw it on it. We've changed. They've still got a gold can, the special brew, but we've changed the logo. And I thought, fucking hell, special brew, let's have a look what percentage this week. Because it's always going down 7.5%. Absolutely fucking disgusting. That's that's because some fucking knobhead down London thinks, oh no, people can't handle it because it lets like put the tax up on it. If people want pay, if people want drink, 9% uh, beer. Let him drink 9% beer. I want to drink 9% beer. Yeah. See, where is my special brew? Colesburg have lost a customer. I'm not going to drink Colesburg 7.5%. It's bollocks. I mean, gold label, that with that was 10% wasn't it in, that, in, that in was the 90s. That was the standard bearer of drinkers' drinks. But it's barley wine. That's gone down. Let's see if we can get a zoom in. Um, if it, that is now 7.5%. But it's, you got fucking low. It's, it's like you just, you just got fucking low. I don't want us to swim in negativity here because no. I've got some little gems. Ooh, yeah. they are little gems and all. <laughs> well, then, now then, we've already drank one bottle of whiskey, a bottle of gem beam, which some people could debate whether that was whiskey or not, but. It was all right. So, so what have we got today? When I last went to Ireland, I brought a little box set back with me from the Whiskey Museum, and da -da, you've probably seen these before. Pot still whiskey. Yes, we have red breast, green spot, green powers, powers, and Middleton, Middleton. whiskies. There we go. Ba -boom. Okay, um, so we go from left to right. Hey, it's in a, it's in a fancy case, Alice. Well, if you remember, we did open it earlier on. Oh, let me get it on the box. On, there we go. And I think, oh, you have to open it this way. Is we, it this way? We opened it earlier. There's like a no. bit of a, there's a magnet on that side, I think. There we go. Aha. Do you want to pull the sleeve? Oh, I'll tell you what. There's a thing here, and it says on it, uh, find out more. So... Oh, there we go. So if we pull that. Oh. Ah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, that's, that's quite a fancy that is. Yeah, it so. smells nice inside. <laughs> Got a little. So what does it say? A little monographed thing with a gold embossed. It says embossed. Okay. Um, we've let's see. Um, if you want to welcome to the single pot still whiskies of Middleton. Oh yes, let's have let's a quick see. look. So this is giving us a uh, little uh, history lesson into the whiskies that are in our uh, in our itinerary today. So we've got obviously Middleton Redbreast, uh, Green Spot, and uh, Powers. Now we're. Yeah, Middleton again on here and obviously it's basically split between the four four different uh, whiskey breweries distilleries so yeah interesting 
and we'll read that. I haven't actually looked at that yet because I've never opened that before. There's some weight in that box. Yeah. Now then, today we've chosen a little bit of Irish music just to uh, creep us along with it. I'm Irish, I am. Yeah, you are a quarter Irish. Yeah, I'm a quarter Irish. And for, the, for the drink. Hence the absence of fucking ginger there. <laughs> <laughs> he was ginger two years ago. Ginger's <laughs> fucking gone. Yeah. She fucked off and left me. <laughs> so, what have we got? So, we've got two glasses here a Jack Daniels glass and a uh, Dalmore glass. So, that's that. I tell hey, you want to keep this box? That's I can't drink that though, can I? You can't drink the box, we we'll fucking keep it. Shall we start with Middleton? Now then, out of all of these whiskies, this is the one I know less about. So, Middleton, Barry Crockett. Does that say legacy? Fucking hell, 46%. Where's the zappy? It's there. 46%. Focus, you bastard. Take my word for it, it says uh, 46% volume, 50 milliliters. It's signed by Barry Crocker and it tr ooh, triple distilled. Triple distilled. Yeah, so oh, we'll split that in two now. This is four whiskey corners in one. Oh, yeah. Does it go? Go on, have a sniff. Reminds me of sniffing poppers. Fuck it out. There's no massive whiff of it, to be honest. It's uh, Okay, you ready? This is Middleton, 46%. Ooh, it's got its own aroma. Eh? Petrol not in a bad way. You know when you <sighs> Oh Scores down the back Scores on the top Oaky A uh, fresh fresh pie um Woodland. Mm. Yeah, I'd agree with you on the woodland. Woodland. Bit. Now I yeah, got that's woodland. An, ini an initial burn, top of the mouth, bottom of the mouth. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, as yeah, soon yeah. as he got to the back of the mouth, the burn had gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. That's how I. That's how I interpreted it. That was all right. I could. Uh, I'd, what's that again? What's it called? Middleton. Don't we have that? No, I've oh. never had that before. Middleton. Barry Crockett, Legacy, uh, Middleton. Hey, that's 46% that was. Mm. I tell you, for the 46%, there was no burn. Like, I've tasted whiskies at fucking 37%, like, and it burnt like fuck. Okay. So, we're... Um, so, we uh, One second. Next one is Powers, Powers Whiskey, John Lane, and uh, it's more of a common whiskey in Ireland, from what I can gather. I've heard of Powers, yeah. Yeah, and I've, I've drank Powers in Ireland, and I thought it was the best whiskey I tried in Ireland yeah. when I was there. So, let's have a go at it. No. All right. No drip on the glass. Shall we do a, a visual? Absolutely no drip whatsoever. Nice on the nose. I'm happy with that.
Oh, lovely. T I, lo I actually like that whiskey. There's nothing bad about that whiskey to me. I did find it harsher on the uh, on the back of the uh, what's it called? What's the back of the nose called? It in the back of your throat. It smashed that like a fucking. Uh, what? It was quite harsh on the back there. I didn't but get it's, that. Uh, now, now it's giving me like a uh, forgiveness. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll be happy to know I've got a full bottle of that at home. Yeah, forgiveness. <laughs> this is what it's, whiskey corner is all about forgiveness. Oh yes. Now then, mm. next one. What was it called again? Yeah. Powers. So the next one we go to is the green spot. Oh. Now I have actually tried one of the uh, spots before. Now I believe that these two or three of these, these green spot, red spot, I think they could be possibly yellow spot. But if I'm wrong in that, then I admit that because I can't just remember. It was months ago when I was over there. So there's a couple of different spots, but this happens to be the green spot and it is 40%. And it is um, another one of our pot stilled uh, whiskies. Can I give you enough there, or do you want to? Yeah, no, 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 I'm just ch checking the drip. Now, on the nose, it's got more potency than the last one. No, I'd say the last one had more potency, honestly. For me on the nose, this one's got more potency. I say we've got def definitely different tastes because... Uh, no, I'm not saying it's a bad say, potency, I'm just saying it's, it's a no, potency. No, yeah, yeah. You know, I smelt that much whiskey now, I, I can tell, I think I could tell an Irish from a Scottish one by now. Do you think you can now? Yeah, I think I could now, yeah. I, I really do, yeah. When I was in Ireland, I learnt a lot more about the Irish side of things. Yeah. You know, the Irish differential, shall I say. Now he's drinking, so I shall. Oh, yeah. That was like drinking some water. That, that went down. Fuck you know. When that went down my throat, it was like it was shielded. Like there was a shield around it protecting my throat from uh, detecting the alcohol um, particles and it's just gone straight down. Mm. I can imagine. What was that called? That was called Green Spot. Green Spot. I've heard of that little bastard. I've heard of that. Now, <laughs> I can imagine getting drinking a load of that and uh, being pissed after you've drank a load of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah, I'd say that is dangerous because uh, drink a load of that. Yeah, I'll have another. Nah, it doesn't taste like much. I'll have another. I'll have another. Fucking hell. That deceptive. Yeah, that that's a deceptive one. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, our last one is Red Breast. Now I have tried this. I tried this in the Whiskey Museum. And uh, mm, I've got reservations about it, but I want to drink it with another person that drinks whiskey before I decide. Now, I only tried it once, but let's see how we go on again. Have a sniff. Ugh, smells rough. 
I had, yeah, al- I had reservations yeah. last time. The enough. alcohol vapors. So when you go like that, it increases the length of the. Uh, it's like a swim pool. Increases the. Uh, With the chlorine content. Yeah. Like the yeah, sur- I get what you mean. Do you know what I mean? But like the surface area. Yeah. Yeah. So let's have a go. Um, oh, creamy. Very creamy. Sticks together, that does. Hey, I can, I can imagine putting me on the fucking ass with that. That was like eating a fucking chewing gum, that was. If chewing gum was a whiskey, it'd be that. <laughs> So oh, there you go, ladies and First, well, last, we had red breast. What have we got there? Green spot. Single pot still Irish. And watch out for that. Powers. It's that first country. Middleton. So have a look. Mm. That. I think that is a it's empty. The box is empty. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's Whiskey Corner. Thank you for watching. Of course, we haven't been around for a while because we've been that busy with things, and we did a uh, spectacular video with the last island Whiskey Corner. And uh, we've got a few new things that we've already filmed but we haven't put on. But we hope that uh, after popular demand, because people have been saying, where's Whiskey Corner? Yeah, we need we need people to send things in. Like we had a... Uh, like packets of Rennies? Yeah, Let me one. That'd be good. Because I'm sick of the... <laughs> Fucking uh, Tesco value... Uh, Rennies, if they don't work, they shit. Yeah, fuck them. So, uh, listen, if anyone's got any recommendations or anything they want us to try that we haven't tried, we will try it. And we have actually got a budget to buy this in, so don't worry about that. Don't be pissing in a bottle, because we'll know. That is very true. And, uh, Colin! If you've got any recommendations, let us know. He supplied the beard, didn't he? No, that was Steve. Colin supplied the uh, Canadian dry whiskey that we tried. Oh, that was good stuff. stuff. You said it was very creamy, yeah. I'd never heard of it before, to be honest with you. But uh, if anyone's got any uh, recommendations, let us know, and we will give them a try. But that is four different whiskeys there we've tried in one whiskey corner. We haven't been around for a bit because we have been busy. But don't worry, we are back. We're coming back. And next time we're going to get a green screen. We're going to be flying around on a magic carpet. And we're going to have titles. It's going to be edited. And it's going to be none more of this amateur bullshit. And we're going to be um, asking for it. Uh, well, we're going to find an adver- advertiser. So, yeah. Look out, Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> right, over and out. That was Whiskey Corner. Over and out, Daniel. Where's my vape?